Trevor Bauer is known as a pitch design pioneer among all of us interested in pitch design. He is one of the best examples of a pitcher who used this technology to improve his arsenal. And today, we're going to be talking about exactly how he did it. Let's get into it. Trevor Bauer was a pretty average pitcher prior to 2018, sporting a career ERA around 420. But then we got to 2018 and something changed. You saw videos of him working at driveline during his offseason, talking about pitch development, and not many people knew just how big this change was going to be for his career. Flash forward to 2018, and Bauer was an all-star with wipeout stuff. He ended the season with a lower ERA and FIP than not just his last season, but most of the pitchers in the league, as well as the ninth best pitcher war in the league that year. So if you're like me, you're probably wondering, how did this happen? I can't tell you all the nitty gritty details because I just wasn't there, but by taking a quick look on Brooks Baseball, I can tell you some of the observations I've made based on just his pitch movement profiles. So we talked about Bauer a couple times before on the channel. When explaining spin axis and pitch movement, check out those videos here for a better understanding of what we will be talking about today. But during today's video, we're going to be looking at what factors changed in Bauer's arsenal from 2017 to 2018. So like I said in my pitch movement video, all of this information is free and easy to look at on Brooks Baseball. So that's where all this information is coming from today. Here's the pitch movement chart that we've seen several times. Remember that most of the data that is spit out from Rapsodo and Trackman is going to be from the pitcher's perspective. But on Brooks Baseball, all of this is from the catcher's perspective. So that's why it may look backwards. First, let's look at 2017's data. Enlisted next to each pitch is the average velocity for that pitch that year. Upon first glance, you can see that he threw seven pitches, and he actually ditched a splitter pretty early in the year, and then he adopted the slider within the last three months of the season, so both of those are a pretty small sample size. His fastball and sinker aren't super different. They have similar movement profiles and even look like some of them cross into the other in some point. There isn't too much to talk about here on the changeup. There are some areas where you could see an important, but it isn't the biggest issue here. That takes us to the slider and the cutter. To me, the slider really just seems to be a slow version of his cutter, thrown with similar movement patterns and the speed differential isn't that much. So this is the biggest issue and this is what needs to be fixed. Like I said in the last video, you're looking to create separation in between pitches. So let's see what he did to change his arsenal going into 2018. First, you could see that his average fastball and sinker velocities went up. That's one factor that we talked about in the last video, to increase effectiveness. You can see that now there also is a true separation between those two pitches. He's now throwing his slider two miles per hour slower than he was in 2017, which helps create more of a separation in that Z direction that we talked about in the last video from his cutter. But now it has almost tripled the average horizontal movement on the pitch and even up to almost four times larger than the year before. This is the biggest change I see from year to year, and like I said, what I would have worked on with this athlete had I seen his before tests. His cutter is thrown pretty much the same as his old slider, but just as hard as it used to be. And now you can see a true separation between this pitch and his slider in both miles per hour and movement profiles. Lastly, his curveball didn't see a huge change but he is throwing it harder and with more induced vertical break. All in all, this pretty much alone can tell you why Bauer saw so much success this year. His pitchers were all thrown harder on average with more break and more separation between one another. And that's exactly what we talked about in the last video. If Bauer really did get into the offseason to work on something, my guess is he spent the largest portion of time working on his slider. And for good reason. He used it much more consistently. And it was nasty. But to wrap this video up, my point of showing you all this is that Trevor Bauer wasn't a bad pitcher before that year. He was a middle of the rotation starter with four years of time already spent in the big leagues. But what took him to the next level was applying the concepts I'm talking about here on my channel to help him improve his stuff. And I definitely say he's a better pitcher now than he was before. The game is changing and all of this technology is just another tool to be used in order to make good guys into great guys. And that's the goal of pitch design. I can't promise that Bauer followed the process I outlined over my last couple videos, but you can see that something similar must have taken place. You can look at the 2017 data and see that there are some deficiencies, or at least some things that could be better. Then you can take time to manipulate that 
into a pitch and create the results that you desire. And for him, it paid off. Thanks for watching. You guys have been awesome down in the comments section in the last couple of videos. So keep the questions and suggestions coming in the comment section down below. Please leave a like if you learned anything or just to support the channel. It really helps me out. And subscribe to see more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.